All right, today we'll be doing the unboxing of the Fishband GH100. Possibly the most budget-friendly BFS reel that actually is considered very good, high quality for 2019. Before I even start, you guys know that I've been using this guy here, the Surinoya XF50. This is considered the number one budget-friendly BFS reel that you get from AliExpress for about $46.99 before shipping. It really depends on which vendor you get it from. This might still be the ultimate budget-friendly BFS reel out there, but let's see what we have to look into today in this reel, which is released in 2019. And just for documentation purposes, this video is recorded in June 10th, 2019. So yeah, 2019 budget reel, budget BFS reel, the ultimate budget BFS reel. Let's take a look at this. The Fish band GH100. And the first thing you guys notice, holy smokes, this does look like a Shimano. Wow. The Shimano Aldebaran BFS XG, which is like a 360 something dollar reel, I believe. But this is $59.99 on AliExpress. That is more than the XF50 from Sorinoya but way, way less than the Aldebaran. Of course, it doesn't have that shiny chrome paint like Shimano does, but it's still a little shiny. It's uh, like a gunmetal gray. It does have some glitter on it. Probably not showing up on your guys' end, but it's all plastic. Super duper light. Holy smokes. Wait, wait a sec. What do I see here? Is this a piece of hair that got stuck on a reel when they painted right over it? What is this? Imperfection. Well, for a Chinese reel instead of a $360 Japanese reel, you know, I'm paying for like a $65 reel. I think it's okay. Oh, here's another one right here, I think. Or is that just a dot for its side plate? I have no idea, but I'll consider it an issue. One, two, but uh, reeling it so far doesn't look like it gets in their way, so I'm, I'm okay with it. For the price point, not too bad, but if it was like scratched up out of the box, I would complain about it. Uh, I would just ignore those little imperfections. Now, before I get into, let's say, uh, everything else, let's take a look at this. Again, this thing is super duper light, extremely light. I think it's actually lighter than my Sornoya XF50. Actually, yeah, it does feel a lot lighter. Now, that has a little bit of line, only a third way in, but it's super duper light. Now, let's take a look at this here. The handles, it is um, EVA foam. More, way more comfortable than my, my aluminum handles there. And uh, I think uh, I scratched one of the handles, so it's a little rough. Let's take a look, back part, max drag, 4.5 kg, 7.2 to one gear ratio with 11 plus one ball bearing. So I guess um, there's a lot of ball bearings in the handles. Where else can it be, right? The pinion support. Now guys, I won't get too technical with this. You guys can check out the top right hand corner. You guys look at the real test because that's where the money's at. He does a lot of in-depth videos, real comparison, rod um, uh, comparison, real breakdowns. And uh, he was basically my go-to when I started BFS fishing. When I wanted to do research, I go to him. But uh, yeah, you get a little slice of dice impression, unboxing impression from me, yours truly Jimbo. But let's keep moving on. I love this spool right here. Look at that, it's like so shallow. I think that gotta be more shallow than my um, XF50. I wish I could pull, I guess I could pull out all the line there, but if you actually look closely between the two, from right here, that has only one third of the line. Let's see if it focused. Okay, focus. And if you look compared here, you know, if, if the spool was actually right here with no line, I, I, I definitely, believe that this guy right here is a lot shallower than this guy there. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, guys. So this spool itself, it's super duper light, lighter than that. I believe it's, um, the paper spec says 9.6 grams. How do I open this? Okay, right here on the side. So let's pop this guy open and take a look at the spool. And the cool thing about this spool is, look at that. Is it, Not only is the shallow spool, Look at all slot, slot um, holes for weight reduction. 
This thing is super duper light and this, the, the pin is actually short. It doesn't have that super long one and uh, that does reduce a lot of the, the weight allowing to spin a lot better. BFS spools is all about using the lightest spool possible so that you sling those ultra ultra light lures. But look at this, uh, FTB, that's, that's uh, Shimano. But let me show you guys what the FTB is all about. Finesse tune braking system, I believe that's what it stands for. Let me put this right here, hopefully it doesn't roll away. But here's the braking system, look at that. So when you, when you twist this, you can see that it's actually coming out a lot further out. See that? That's max brakes right there. And that's min brakes, so it goes in and out. Number goes from zero to five, but there's multiple clicks in between. I love the clicks, so you definitely lock your uh, braking se uh, settings where it needs to be. There's one bearing in there. One bearing right here. But yeah, guys, this is this how it works. You stick it in here, and it just like that, right? I think, oop, wrong side. I, I'm an idiot, there we go. So there's a reason why there's no holes on this side because it needs to work right there. The magnetic field needs to work. So in and out, basically. Very cool stuff, guys. Now, let's take a look at this brake. See how strong th these magnets are. Got a scissor right here. Oh, dude, it just pulled it right in. Oh nice, and also, just like the Shimano, it actually pops in and out. This thing goes out a little bit, so yeah, very interesting stuff. Very strong magnets, which means very strong brakes, I like it. Now I'm looking at this bearing right here, I can't tell is it super high quality stainless steel ball bearings, I mean everything right there, they're in Chinese. Back to this bearing here, it's so over greased. I, Means, I mean, it's okay having that much grease in there because you know that means uh, you know it'll last long. But I might take these out, degrease them, and put like you know high, high-end um, performance oil on this guy here and also the guy in there. Um, or I might put ceramic hybrid bearings in there. I don't know. But the first thing I gotta do is, of course, play with this guy before I do any of those fancy smancy stuff. But in the comments below. What do you guys want to see first? You guys want to see me clean these bearings out or go straight to ceramic hybrid bearings like those spool high speed bearings? Hmm, yeah, just leave me a comment below. So at least the paint job is like pretty thorough. Some of the reels I've seen, like Chinese reels, what they do is they only paint the outside, they do like one spray and the inside is like totally like bear color, like uh, you can see pure plastic. And um, you know, you kind of do see painting here which is nice. All right, well, let's put this whole thing back in. Installs very easily and it locks in place which is good. I love reels that does not have the little um, opener right in the bottom because when I put on my kayak rod holder, sometimes the side plate will open up and I lose my side plate. And with this uh, Chinese reel that came in the mail, close to three, it took, took about three weeks to come in so I definitely don't want to lose a uh, side plate and plus in, Ch in China, I don't know how I could reach out to this company and get a you know spare side plate. I would have to buy a whole new one, which good thing it's not 300 something dollars. It's only $60. All right, so let's play around with the, the brakes, I guess. And the way I would do it is, I'll just make sure this is at zero, right? Here we go, zero right there. And, uh, it spins okay, I mean, maybe because of all the grease, it's not going to spin super far like some of my other reels. But that's zero brakes. And let's go to the max. Oh, geez, it, it, it stopped before I even pushed the button. And guys, it's actually really hard to do this when the camera is like right here. But as you can see, there's a huge difference between the, uh, the braking power right there. I mean, it's almost instant. Holy smokes, that's uh, very impressive for this finesse tune braking system that Shimano created and they copied. Brilliance. This is how the reel will look like after it's installed onto my fishing rod. 
Okay, so let's see the palming. It's not too bad. Look at that. I hold it just like that. Still holding the back part. I really like how I could hold the back part because you know this is where the sensitivity comes out of, right? And I still hold the reel at the same time. Retrieving it. This is this is good. I'm very stoked and excited. So overall for this unboxing video, I am very stoked. I'm very happy to even purchase this $60 reel. I truly do believe that this is gonna be the ultimate BFS reel for 2019. I'm not sure how well it's compared to my Surinoya XF50 because currently that is the king of BFS budget reels. But I will leave a link to um, this product here, the GH100 in my description below. Make sure you guys do check it out quick because these stuff are selling out very fast with all these content creators creating um, a content for this reel right here, like the, the real test. And uh, yeah, this, this is a hot topic right now in the BFS community for the next best budget BFS reel. And it's sold out almost every single vendor that have this posted up like relatively quick. So I'll post a few, but uh, your best bet is actually searching it for yourself on AliExpress. All you do is type in Fishband GH100. Okay, so GH100 right there. Fishband, okay. And you should be able to find it. But make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because in the next several days, I will be spooling some lineup on this reel and I'll be taking out for some casting just to see how well it feels. And yeah, make sure you subscribe if you're not currently a subscriber to my channel and hit that bell notification so you guys can be notified when that happens. I definitely will be doing a lot of fishing using this reel if it's worth my time. And you guys will definitely know by then if it's worth my time and your time. Thank you for watching. Peace out.